question nine. So we have a diagram here and I've drawn it twice because I'm going to do some explaining with this bottom right one here. But we have these two circles, uh, one with a radius, the big one with 2R of a radius and the smaller one just with R. They're intersecting at D and C uh, and this is the midpoint. Now this is a very hard question for part A. So try and stay with me here. I'll do my best to explain it. But the question says, let alpha be the, the measure of the angle CAD. So CAD, picture this triangle here. Okay, so this will be alpha. And then uh, theta is the measurement of CBD. So if this was a triangle here, this would be theta. Now, in part A it says find an expression for the shaded area in terms of alpha, theta and r. So firstly, the shaded area is this bit in here. It's, it's this bit shaded. Now, the way we can do that is first use alpha as an angle. Now, the outside of alpha, if I take this red line all the way to the outside and then go around my blue line from D to C and then all the way back, that's an area of a sector. So the area of a sector is a half theta, and this will be alpha, and then r squared. Now r squared in this case, our radius is 2r, because this is, this is a 2r radius, and the that's the radius for our question, and the radius of the smaller one was just r. So I'm going to put our radius, which is 2r squared. That'll give us this whole uh, sector. Now, if we minus away the triangle here, now I'm going to completely ruin this diagram, but if I put a triangle here and minus away this triangle, I'm only going to be left with this sliver on the outside, which is good, which is, which is great. So I'm going to minus away the area of a triangle, and that's a half, uh, the area of a triangle is a half, a, B, sine C. And now both of these are 2R and 2R. So it would be a half 2R, 2R sine of alpha. So if I did the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle, I'm just left with this red bit here. Again, which is fine. Now this can be simplified, which I will at the end. Uh, then I'm going to add, so all of that's going to be one section. Now I'm going to go the opposite way now. Let's go from, I'm going to put a black pen. Picture, if that's my angle out and that's theta, and I go now all the way around, I can get an area of a sector, which would be, a half, now the angle is theta, and my radius is r, so r squared. That'll give me all of this. Now if I minus away the triangle which is here, I'm going to put this in black, this triangle here, I'm just going to be left with this shaded bit on the outside. So if I minus away, let's see my blue pen, minus away a half, r times r sine of theta, I'm just going to be left with this bit here. And notice that what is left is the two shaded bits, the, the red and the black, which was the complete shaded section. So I'm going to rub all of this out. Hopefully now that diagram makes a bit more sense. Actually, I might just I might just move that for now. I might need it for a future part. Okay, so going back to our question. Our area. Now there's there are some things that are in common here. A half times 2r squared, or this will be 4r squared over 2. So this will be 2r squared. Now we're also going to have a 4r squared over 2, so 2r squared. So that can be factored out and it will just be our alpha minus sine alpha. I'm hoping that this big bracket can be, can, it can be seen that it's simplified to this. 
because 2r squared on 2, 2r squared well, essentially on 2, they're common, and we have alpha and sine alpha. Plus, and the same thing's going to happen here, I have r squared, r squared, a half at the front of theta minus away sine theta. Okay, bit of a long way to get there, but that is the uh, that's the answer to part A.